Hey there guys, and Headphones Neil here with an Android 9 quick tip. So yesterday an article from Android Police came across my um, list of articles to read that Google's DNS is now supported with, or now supports that being set up with Android 9 Pie. So I figured I'd do a quick video on how to set that up. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into settings. You're going to go into network and internet. At the bottom under advanced, you're going to see an entry for private DNS. So you, when you select it, you're going to see that it's set to automatic. So whatever your mobile uh, or whoever your cell phone carrier is, in my case is T-Mobile, it's going to use their DNS servers. If I'm on Wi-Fi, so when I'm at home I'm, or on my home Wi-Fi network, I have open DNS. Whenever I'm anywhere else, I'm using their default DNS. But if I want to use Google's DNS, no matter what connection I'm on, what you're going to do is you're going to do click on private DNS provider host name. You're going to type in dns.google. Like you see here, I've already been playing with it, so it's going to show up. And then you're going to hit save. So now all of your network connections are going to use Google DNS by default. So now when you do a search, let's say we want to find out more about Google DNS, it's going to automatically improve that performance in three ways, namely sp uh, sped up browsing experience. So it reduces latency and speed for any queries. You're going to have improved security from uh, security threats and things like that. And you're going to have fewer to no redirections and things like that so you should see fewer errors and your pages should load that much quicker as well and the dns res resolution uses uh, an https connection so you have more privacy and security when you are browsing the web so it is a definite plus to use that connection so that's really all there is for that overall for the past day or so I, that I've been using it. It has worked pretty well. The only issue I've had is that it does not seem to work well with Amazon Prime Video as far as saving my video position for whenever I stop watching something, which is kind of weird. And just doing a quick search, it looks like there's a problem with VPNs and uh, DNS services and things like that. So um, let's say you are watching something on Amazon Prime Video. The thing to do if you do make this switch is to go back into settings, network and internet, advanced and private DNS, just like you did to set the DNS, but switch it back to automatic or off and you should be set. So it is kind of a, a weird thing to have to do. It's kind of annoying, but if you don't mind doing it, then it is or you watch a lot of stuff on Amazon Prime Video, then it is a change that will need to be made. But just for one thing, it's okay. I did try looking to see if I could do a shortcut to um, the network and internet in my settings. I couldn't find it, and I didn't have a chance to finish looking at it as far as of setting an activity or anything like that. But I didn't see something for... Um, something specifically for network and internet. Um, I see a lot of things that are for other things that I can do a shortcut to, um, unless it's in hotspot and tethering, which I don't think it is, so it's not there either. So um, that is kind of a bummer, but if you want a quicker browsing experience and you wanna use Google DNS, then it is definitely the way to go. It is a quick update to make. If you don't watch much on Amazon Prime Video or if you don't use it at all, then as far as I can tell, Google DNS is pretty good. Um, it did seem to work fine on Netflix, YouTube, and YouTube TV. So um, that those work okay. If you use those, then it is okay for me. Like for me, I use those four video streaming services. Three out of four that work is not that bad. So switching back to or turning off the Google DNS for one video service is okay with me. So that's all there is for that this particular quick tip. So if you want to get um, subscribe and get more content, be sure to visit PatelN01.com. This video and all reviews can be found on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. And of course, if you want to find, follow me on Twitter and get in touch with me, you can find me on there at PatelN01. But that's all there is for this review. Thanks for watching and listening. And until next time.